national radio talk show host, Mr. Herman Cain. Good morning. I'm Herman Cain, radio talk show host out of Atlanta, Georgia, News Talk 750 WSB. I am here today to assist in the rebuke of the accusation that the Tea Party movement is racist. Many of us are familiar with those ideals that are stated in the Declaration of Independence about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But I often have to remind many of my listeners, you don't stop there, you keep reading where it says, when any form of government becomes destructive of those ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. The Tea Party movement is exercising its right to alter the direction of this country if we do not like it, and a lot of people do not like it, and abolish some of the aspects. That's what this movement is about. Now, the accusation of racism against the Tea Party movement was hurled at this movement for two specific purposes. One, to divide us. Secondly, to deflect attention away from the failed policies of this Congress and the failed policies of this administration. I've often pointed out to my listeners that the three favorite tactics of liberals, who are the people who want bigger government, more taxes, and less individual responsibility, versus a conservative point of view, which promotes less government, less taxes, and more individual responsibility. There are three favorite tactics of the liberals in this country, and playing the race card was one of them. I call it the sin tactics. They do three things when they are desperate, and they don't have the facts or logic or the people on their side. S, they sin. They shift the subject to try to deflect attention from failed policies. I, they ignore the facts. The facts of the failed stimulus bill are not on their side. And in name calling. That's what the accusation of racism was all about. Now, when they do not succeed at shifting the subject away from the real facts, when they do not succeed at getting the majority of the American people to ignore the facts, they resort to name calling in order to divide and to deflect. Last night I had a caller to my radio show who is a staunch, staunch Barack Obama supporter. And she called in her exact words to me because I have been very critical of the policies of this administration and this Congress. Mr. Kane, you ought to just sit down and shut up. I said, oh no, you didn't say that, did you? <laughs> you ought to just sit down and shut up. I said, ma'am, this may be hard for you to comprehend. That is not going to happen because we have a right to disagree with our elected officials. It is not only our right, but our responsibility. And then another caller called up and rebuked the first caller on my behalf. You know, it's amazing that if you're right about something, you will have people come to your defense. So another caller calls up and says, I want to direct my remarks at the previous caller who told you to sit down and shut up. I said, well, what do you want to say? She said, I want to say to her that if it were not for people like Herman and like some of the other alternative media, we wouldn't know what's going on. She said, and this is a direct quote from the second caller. She said, I am tired of this administration and members of Congress pouring warm water on my leg and telling me that it is raining. <laughs> you catch my drift. The Tea Party movement is about taking back our government. It's the Tea Party Express. It's the Tea Party Patriots. It's Americans for Prosperity. It is the Intelligent Thinkers movement. It is a citizens movement that's showing up in a number of places and it is going to continue. And I happen to believe, I firmly believe in the people of this country. That's what this is about. And because they were desperate and they have no facts on their side, they tried to demean, they tried to deflect, and they tried to divide. But we will not be divided as people, patriots who care about this country. Thank you very much.